Oh, we had to get the toys out. Oh, everybody's playing with the toys. Guinea, guinea, kai kai. What do you think? Oh boy. Hey, why don't we get the special kini kai toy down? Hey, I always keep it up there because Puka likes to chew the string. Here you go, Kini. Hey, no, no, no. Puka, no, that's not for you. There we go. Kini Kai knows that's his, her toy. I haven't brought that out for a while, for at least two weeks. That's the way to do it. That's why I'm not uh, getting the other toys out from Sammy, from Ivy Dragon Breath. Just taking my time. Then we can have presents all summer long. Pookie. You're so happy Mummy brought out your toys, huh? Yeah, I've been keeping them away. Every once in a while you just say, hey, it's too messy, and you put them away and leave them. Gerd, I'm a Gerd. You like that one? You do, huh? I guess you just like it because it's a ball. I have another one for you, Pook. Same one. Where's that bag? Oh, I'm going to put this lovely little bed in the basement for now because nobody seems to like it. There we go. Just for you, Pook. You want the third one, Gerd? Come on. Put it out of the bag. Huh. So hot today, everything's sticky. Come on. Okay, there you go. No? Ha! Okay. And what about... You know what? Oh, I just put that ball in my mouth to pull it out. And it's really, really toxic. I had thrown it out before. That's it. You guys aren't playing with this. Or maybe tennis balls taste like that too. Gross. Okay, and what about that little one? No? Okay. And I've got nothing else for you. Oh. Okay. The other one that you had, Pookie, was smaller. Oh man, that tennis ball was disgusting. I don't know how dogs put that in their mouth. Huh. You know, I wonder if the big tennis balls taste like that, too. I'm not going to try the ones that are in there, though. <laughs> you know, I guess those, those, uh, those blue ones, the racket balls, are the best. Oh, come on, girl. She took it. If you like it, I'll get you some more. I know that you had a lot of fun with the other one. Until Puka tore it apart. I like those white balls that I bought. They're the ones that are all chewed up. 
Well, this one's still in one piece. There you go. And then this one's all chewed into little pieces. And I looked it up. And they're, I think they're called Nerf balls. And they're totally, totally non-toxic. I bought, I think, four of them. If I'd seen more, it was a store closing, I would have bought them all. Because they're very light as well. Pookie, if you're going to chew on it, why don't you chew on this one that's already chewed up? Here, that one, okay? Yeah, Gertie, you never did that. You never chewed on stuff, did you? No. Gert, I'm a Gert. Why don't you go and play in your pool for a little bit? Come on. That would be good. Come on. Let's go play in the pool. It's so hot. You should go play in the pool. Coco is standing in the pool. Good. Oh, Gert, I'm a Gert. Go play in the pool. Go, go in the pool. Gertama Gerd. Gertama Gerd. Come on, do it. Goody ma goody. Oh, look at that. She peed while she was. What a weirdo. What a total weirdo. Someone was asking, so for anyone who doesn't know, Gertie has urinary sphincter mechanism incontinence. She was born with it. She had surgery that uh, attached her bladder to her uh, abdomen uh, and lifted up her, her abdomen. So she had a cytopexy and a um, culpa suspension. And that helped, that, that cured the anatomical problems, but it did not... Uh, did not cure the USMI. It's a really tough condition when it's congenital. When it's uh, when it happens after a spay, uh, you just get uh, phenylpropanal phenylpropanalamine PPA, and that usually works for for females. You know, sometimes it happens after they're spayed, but uh, with Gertie, it occurred uh, when she was she was born with it. So. There's nothing that can be 